Hey, what's going on, folks? So we're live right now discussing how to begin your podcasting journey. All right, so your podcasting journey is only as good as you wanting to do something about podcasting, okay? Yeah, podcasting is not for everyone, but right now, podcasting is taking off. And the reason podcasting is taking off is because there's a lot of niche topics out here that people are interested in. So if you try to start a podcast, the one thing you got to absolutely uh, deal with beforehand is you got to find a topic of interest. And when I say topic of interest, this is what I'm talking about. So I get a lot of questions uh, where people ask me questions. Okay, for example, this one right here says, what is the going rate for the fast turnaround audio to text transcription work? All right. So basically, if you want to do a fast turnaround for audio transcription work, you probably could go to like, you know, Fiverr and post, post it out there. I'm saying the going rate is probably like $200, $200 for that one. So another question is like, what compensation do people get for going on podcast? Well, it depends. It depends on the the podcast host and what you know what the going rate is um, if you are an influencer and you are looking to get on a podcast uh, then obviously you have to have your rate card okay it could go from a hundred dollars to as high as thirty five hundred dollars you know, to get on a podcast and the reverse is also true where our podcasters will put guests on their shows and you have to pay to get on the show to promote your product so the reverse is also true from that perspective okay so yeah and this question is here what are some binge worthy podcasts well uh, a binge worthy podcast is only as good as the value that you get from the podcast so in other words it goes back to what i was saying before uh, if you're trying to start a podcast you have to kind of find the niches that are out there that you want to talk about right and then these niches will be specific enough that you could actually draw a lot of crowd like people showing up just to listen to that stuff every day to the to the extent that it becomes like a bench uh, <laughs> they, they, they just gotta have and they just gotta listen to this stuff that is on the podcast right so just just uh, consider that when you try to develop a podcast uh, strategy okay so yeah this other question right here is talking about uh, after linking your RSS feed do you need to do anything where whenever you add an episode or does it automatically pull from the host site this is very technical but I'm gonna try to answer that real quick so the RSS feed is obviously what what uh, tells the podcast networks that an episode is already uh, basically released so each time you release a new episode it becomes automatic you don't really need to do anything because it will pull the content from the whole site in this case most of that would be probably like a blog or something so so each site is gonna have an RSS feed and what you do is you turn that RSS feed uh, the blog content into an RSS feed and that's how the podcast networks and, and uh, are gonna catch and, and basically know that your episode is available. So no, you do not need to do anything else once once that becomes uh, active, all right? So yeah, so yeah, if you guys have any comments as I'm going through these questions, feel free to, to uh, post the comments. Maybe later on, I'll come back and I'll answer the question. Again, this right here is, is how to begin your podcasting journey. What I'm doing is I'm answering some questions uh, off of the it's a platform called Quora where you can ask questions, but I'm specific to the podcasting because I try to help people uh, uh, get their podcast off the ground. So this one right here says, what are some great podcasts to listen to for marketers? Okay. Uh, marketers really uh, are entrepreneurs. So if you really want to get specific about marketing, I would highly recommend that you uh, kind of look listen to some of the entrepreneurs podcasting. Uh, the one that I kind of stumbled upon um, is by a guy by the name of Onik. Um, it's called Learn Nation. Um, it's, it's called Fight the Fighting Entrepreneur. So check out the Fighting Entrepreneur by, by Onik Singal. 
um, yeah, he, he has a, a company called Learn Nation where he teaches you things about email marketing, you know, how to how to do copywriting and things of that nature. This is like skills that are invaluable when it comes to marketing uh, on social media. So yeah, it's a good plug for Arnie, uh, Anik, uh, in, in uh, Learn Nation there. Um, so, so continuing, uh, again, what I was getting at with this whole, this whole thing is to kind of help help you guys uh, uh, decide what you want to do. Okay, how can I listen to podcasts without using data or Wi-Fi? Well, that's a tough one because again, um, the way you could do that is to go to, this, to the site. So for example, some of the sites that are actually hosting this podcast are gonna have like uh, the previous question I answered, the RSS feed where you can, you can kind of like preview what it is that's on there. So you go to the site directly and you should be able to see a uh, audio link that you can click and once you click on that link you should be able to listen to it without a Wi-Fi. Okay? So that's the answer to that particular question. We're gonna keep going again. Like I said, if you have questions specific to podcast, feel free to chime in and uh, let me know and we'll be more than happy uh, to, to to answer your questions for you. So this is how to begin your podcasting journey, right? That's what this this is all about, and uh, and if you have questions, uh, just post the questions in the comment section in the description, and and uh, I'm gonna be more than happy to help you answer some of those questions. Or specifically, if you wanna just leave me a comment, go to uh, podbomb.com. That's P-O-D-B-U-M, and uh, leave me a comment, uh, and I'm gonna uh, I'll reach back and, uh, and and answer your questions. Okay, so. Going back to beginning your podcasting journey, right? What does that mean? It, it means basically being able to answer some of these questions uh, that that I kind of I kind of talked about, right? And uh, and and being able to kind of help people answer not just these questions, but also help them launch their podcast. So if you specific and you have a niche. Um, if you have a niche that you're trying to like work on, podcasting honestly would be a good way for you to get that niche off the ground. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, end this live feed right now, and I'm gonna share this link. And feel free to 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 reach out if you have additional questions on how um, you can. Set